in a lot of real life applications, we'll be dealing with these equations that have more than one variable uh, in it. And these equations that have multiple variables are what we call literal equations. And so some of these real life formulas might be the area of a particular shape, like area of a circle or rectangle or triangle or something like that, or possibly the perimeter around some shape, or maybe the volume of a certain solid, et cetera, et cetera, where you have these different variables related to one another, like uh, length and width and height and um, these quantities, area and perimeter and volume, et cetera. So uh, in just a minute, I'll tell you what we're gonna do with these guys. But before we go any farther, let me just give you some examples just to illustrate some literal equations. Uh, a common one that we see in a lot of examples is the perimeter of a rectangle. Let's see, the perimeter depends on the length and the width of the rectangle. The perimeter is the distance around the outside of a rectangle. So if a rectangle has a, a length of L and a width of W, then the perimeter would be L plus W plus L plus W. That would be the distance all the way around. So we had two L's plus two W's, and that would be equal to the perimeter. So it's called a literal equation because we have P's, W's, and L. We have more than one variable in the equation. And so so many of these, um, the vast majority of these will be related to some real life situation. Uh, here's another one, the circumference of a circle. That's the distance around the outside of the circle. That distance depends on the radius of the circle. So the circumference C equals 2 pi R. Well, pi is where pi is the constant 3.14, 1.59, etc. Um, times the radius. A couple more, the area of a rectangle is a popular one. That's length times width. A, the area, equals length times width. And uh, we'll look at this one, the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is one half the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. So we we'll use B and H. So A equals one half B times H. All right, so that's just a few examples of uh, a few common literal equations that we'll see um, throughout this particular uh, unit here. But now what are we going to be asked to do with these guys? Why are, why are we talking about these right now? Because if you remember um, over the last you know few topics, all we've been talking about are equations that have a single variable. This is brand new having equations like this that have you know P's, L's and W's and A's and uh, H's and B's and you know we have single equations that now have multiple variables what are we going to be asked to do with these guys well it turns out that we can use our algebra skills that we've been practicing with solving equations to rewrite any literal equation in terms of a different variable so uh, let me give you a few examples like here the area depends on the base and the height. So for instance, if I gave you a base and I gave you the height of a certain uh, triangle, you could plug them in here and here, and your answer would be the area. So the area is in terms of B and H. But think about it for a minute. If, if I instead gave you the area and the base, couldn't we in some way solve for what the height should be? And maybe in this example, the area of a rectangle is length times width. Well, typically I'll give you the length and the width and you'll find the area. But what if, for instance, I gave you the area and the length and wanted the width? Well, you'd have to rewrite it. And we already have the skills to do that. We can rewrite any literal equation in terms of a different variable using addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, et cetera. So um, let's, let's just try a quick example here. Let's go back to this slide with the circumference of the circle. Right now, the circumference is written in terms of the radius. Just the way it's written is, you give me an r, I'll multiply that times two pi, and that'll give you the circumference. But what if I wanted to flip this on its head? What if I wanted to find the radius written in terms of the circumference, which is the other way around? So in other words, I want to solve for R. 
So how would I solve for r? Well, currently r is times 2 pi. So if you wanted to get the r by itself, we would do the opposite of that and divide by 2 pi. So if we divided the left side and the right side by 2 pi, then this would lead to the equation, once the two pi's cancel, r, just an r, equals c divided by two pi. So it's still a literal equation, but now the way it's written is you can give me the circumference and then I'll give you the radius. And so that's what you'll be doing in all these literal equation examples. So go, go to any one here. Uh, we'll take this one for instance. Uh, right here, the perimeter is written in terms of W and L. They might ask you to solve for W, for example. So you'll have at the end of the day, W equals something in terms of P and L. And so you're just using the same algebra skills to rewrite the equation in terms of a different variable.